What's going on guys? So in today's video, we are going to be installing a dash cam on this truck and it's something that's just good to have. You know, people these days, they're very sue happy. People will sue you over a accident or them deliberately making you wreck into them or, you know, jealous people might damage your vehicle or someone might accidentally bump it in a parking lot. And there's just a lot of scenarios where a dash cam can really protect your vehicle and even more so your own well-being and future and stuff like that so um, it's definitely a good idea to have a webcam so obviously you are here to see how one is installed and there is a ton of them on YouTube there's actually a decent amount of install videos and stuff but everyone they're all like 20 minutes long and you skip through all of it and then you miss stuff so I'm gonna try to make this one very short and sweet so I went with the van true dash cam I went on the Silverado Facebook page and asked for a you know recommendation and i got one of these recommended and they were on new egg for 140 or 160 bucks they're on sale normally 200 and so this one is a front and rear facing and it has good low light everything pretty much had all good reviews on it it's got a display screen on it we're going to be hardwiring it to run 24 7 so I'm going to have this. You probably won't even have to have this if you have the same model truck as me and you use the same fuse and everything. But we got the Vantrue install hardware kit. And I think this was like 15 or 20 bucks on top of the dash cam. So still coming in under $200. And it comes with all these fuse taps or um, adapters, whatever you want to call them. And then it comes with this little guy, which just, you know, runs from your camera over to your fuse tap and you're just going to put one of these in with your fuse that is constantly running so that it can record all the time so the route i am going i plan to mount the webcam right here and uh be you know to be underneath my tent right here so it can see will see well so this is not easy to pop out but it will pop out it definitely takes a lot of a lot of muscling there we go hit the camera but that's it this panel comes straight out and now we have access to all of our fuses so right there we got some juice on this tin right here and i'm gonna look on the back side and see what this is running to all right so i think i'm gonna tap into this guy right here which your this you hold sideways and that's how you can read it um that's 37 it says battery system so you can correct me if this is an incorrect one or not but it's a 10 amp and it's going down to a five so i figured that's the best one to do the add a fuse with i don't know if you're required to unplug the battery but i went ahead and did that just for safety precaution i don't know i'm not i'm not an electrician so um but yeah that's one we're going to tap into i'm going to go ahead and plug all of it in make sure the webcam or the dash cam works and stuff before we go wiring it up and stuff right, little guy So we're just going to hook this up to the this guy and then hook our dash cam up to it. See if we got juice. I already tested on there and it is showing power, but you know, we're going to just double check. Probably a 10 millimeter is where our ground's going to go. So the bolt right here that should work just fine. All right, the ground is on. Go ahead and put this guy in here, just like that. Hook your battery back up, and then there we go. So we have power. All right, so now we're going to take this guy off, but and that shows a 10, so that should be the same. We'll just need to get a wrench. Yes, and like I've seen in other videos, be careful when you are taking these off not to hit your windshield because you can break it. As well as there is a airbag under here. So just for extra precaution, take your battery thermal off again. That way this doesn't have a freak accident and explode, hit you in the face and kill you. So the camera itself does come with a USB and a cigarette lighter. So you could do the simple way and just plug this in, but it will only run while the truck is running. We are wanting to record all the time though. So that's why we're hard, hard wiring it because I mean, I guess if it's like a Uber or something, you really don't, it, you just need it while it's running. However, in my scenario, I want it to run 24 seven. 
So, I'm gonna mount it like right here. Obviously, I will adjust it once we get it um, fully wired up. That way, we can, you know, adjust our camera and everything so the mirror doesn't get in the way. So, basically, I'm gonna start running the wire from up here and then underneath here and you just kind of tuck it under there. Then we'll go back under here, zip tie the wires out of the way underneath the headliner and then run down right there. And I will catch up with y'all then. So like I said, just run your wire up through here, under the headliner, all the way over here. Got a little bit of wiggle room for the dash cam so we can set it up and it can you know, get it aligned properly and everything. But other than that, it's pretty much ready to go. So, well, I'm gonna put it all back together and then we'll we'll set this thing up. All right, so last step, you got this little guy right here. You wanna get you some double-sided tape just to keep it out of the way from flopping around. Here up out of the way. So, should not have any wires flopping around, anything like that. Put this baby back on there. Make sure we don't crimp any wires or anything. Just like that. All right guys, so I ended up moving it over here and I didn't know, but it has a, where you can plug it in, right all the way at the top of the mount. So that works out great rather than having to have the wire hanging down here. So I moved it down here in order to get away from the mirror and uh, that way I can get more external view of outside and stuff. So I'm gonna get out, walk around the truck, and we'll see how much it captures. So guys, uh, hopefully that looks good. I'll probably have to adjust it a little bit more, but I think it's pretty daggum good. And I will link the video in the description of how to go over the settings and everything, the video that I watched. Um, I'm gonna have it looping. So this won't necessarily you know, prevent something from happening to you or your vehicle, but at least at the end of the day, it should allow you to prove your side of the story or at least hold somebody accountable if anything happens. And so it's just a great thing to have. Hopefully the audio on this thing is pretty good. Obviously we're testing it out because I am filming it on the um, dash cam itself right now. So testing that out. Um, it seems like actually, because I was a little worried with the dark window tent that I have, that the camera wouldn't pick up that good outside. Um, I'm guessing it does pretty good because I looked back at it uh, previously before I moved the camera and it looked like it actually did better with the darker windows um, rather than having it rolled down. So it seems like the darker it was, the better. We'll have to see how it works at night, but from the videos I've seen, it looks like it's gonna work really good at nighttime as well. And we have a huge, just front view, um, everything going on up front. So hopefully everything does work great. But with all that being said, let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'll see y'all in the next one.